reminds me of Brooklyn, except for the train station. I am live in Durango, North Carolina. Not North Carolina. Listen to me. Yeah, we're in North Carolina. In Durango. North Carolina, Durango, Colorado. I am at the train thing. The train thing's pretty nice. Uh, I think it was Dogbone. Said, uh, you know, should take the train. That's a f the shortest train ride is five hours. <laughs> five hours. Two hours up, an hour there, two hours back. Five. I want to be on like a kitty train. Ding, 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 woo, woo, ding, 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 ding. Ten minutes later, you're back home. That's what I want. Five hours. Man. Much as I I would like the idea of a choo choo train, no, we we gotta go. We have places to be. We're going to Silverton next. I'm gonna try to take some twisty roads up there before the, the darkness hits, so we can see some stuff. We but anyway, three dollars for parking. I just paid four Each. bucks for coffee and three dollars for uh, parking and. I figured, oh, maybe an hour-long train right now, no, five hours. I said, well, can we at least, you know, go take a tour of a train, look at a train? Oh, no, no, that's a 10 and 2 or whatever. Like, oh, okay, well, then I'll just look at it from here. I have a picture. I'll post it. I mean, I'm sure it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's very nice. We're at the beginning of our trip. Yeah. Or if we were staying here for multiple days. You know, we're not staying. We're, we're boogieing, baby. We're boogieing. Got two beamers. Yeah, see these two beamers? And it, look at that one's got the the back wheel grabby thing on the right side. And that one's got it on the left side. Sounds like million dollar highway time. I don't know what you mean there, million dollar highway. I guess, is that the road to Silverton? Because that's where we're going. Cause I, I heard tell that that's cool or something. So that's where we're going. It's very quaint and quiet here. It's uh, just quaint and quiet. Yes, yes. So, uh, yeah. Hi, all five of you. What do you think of this? I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> we saw these two uh, European dudes probably in their 60s I would say yeah they're probably bitching about the train ride too yeah and they were there goes over there walking up that rocking chair is there somebody oh there they are over there they're over there and man they are loud Silverton to Ure all right well I don't think that's gonna happen but I will look into it maybe yeah we're running Silverton short to Ure so we're going to Silverton next and we're, after that um we're really too far west for where we should be <laughs> yeah so we're going to head home uh, via 70 eventually, but we're, you know, traveling up through Colorado right now. But uh, as you can see, it's nice. And man, <laughs> 10 seconds after arriving in town, I don't know about you, Moose, but I smelled weed. Yeah. We're at that gas station, actually, and I smelled the weed. Yeah. That's where I smelled the weed. I got a contact high, and then we were, we were a couple of goofy, stumbling butts when we got here. Okay. But we're here. Yeah. So. Nothing. I suppose I could turn my camera around. We rode that last year. Great. Cool. Cool, Chuck. Yeah, so as soon as we finish our coffees, we're going to hop on the bikes, go to Silverton, probably stay there yeah. overnight, and then either go to Ure tomorrow or Colorado Springs tomorrow. Uh, you know, just looking for twisty, nice roads and kind of heading, heading toward, you know, homeward, sort of. It is so nice here. I like Durango. At least this quaint, quiet nice. little piece of it. Yeah, it's really nice. I like the buildings. Reminds me of Brooklyn. Yeah, I like this. We used to have a train depot in Brooklyn. Did you? Yeah, of course. Oh. Well, hence the used to. Exactly. Say, so we used to have a train in Brooklyn. Yeah. When I was growing Not up, there was a train depot, and then they turned into an ice cream place. Oh. Now it's an antique store. Oh. Yeah, we have that too in, in Verena. In Verena, North Carolina. This is so nice. Yeah. Look at this. Man. 
You want me to take a picture of you on one of the horses? I asked him. Because you want to be ridden. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted me to take a picture of him in a, in a uh, conductor hat. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so this is Durango. Let me, let me go over here and take a, a shot of the building for you. Isn't that nice? That's your gift shop there. There's the train. You got to see the train on the outside. It did not go inside the train. But there's the train. If this signal stays strong enough, maybe I'll even go close enough so you can see the whole thing. There's a old-timey caboose. We met you in Sturgis on your Teton trip. Yes, yes, I remember you, Chuck. And the wife. No, no, Chuck, you were here in Denver, right? It was a, d a different person we met out in South Dakota. <sighs> so there you go. I like this place. This this is a very nice, quiet place. Long time no see. Where have you been, Mike? Uh, I was broken for a while. South Dakota, Sandy's moment. Oh, okay. So you're you're Chuck, and we met you and Sandy, and you're the guy. You're the 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 ones that said, Mike Haley seven. On that stairwell, I was walk trudging up there, so tired, and I heard Mike Haley seven I'm like. <laughs> I've been recognized. So that was really cool. Thank you for that, Chuck. And Gil, I was um, I was sick. Not sick. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I was. I was in the hospital. I broke my leg. I had a gallbladderectomy. I had a urethroplasty or urethrostomy. It's been a rough year. Plus, it was hot as balls all summer in North Carolina. So, Mikey no likey. Hot as balls. So, let's go over here. There's the Durango train station. Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Road. Railroad, sorry. Elevation 6,512 feet. Silverton is 45.2 miles. Departing daily, scenic train trips to Silverton. Your adventure begins with full or half day excursions. Should have read that right as I walked up. <laughs> That's very nice. This is beautiful. I like this. I should give me one of them bikes. Yes, I should. I should give me one of them motorcycles. I give me one of them bikes to go on my tour. Take a picture of that bike. I can see it later on. When I go on my tour of the Upper Peninsula, looking for Bigfoot. I'm trying to get rid. I hope Moose sees this later on. <sighs> anyway. Thank you, folks, for watching. Thank you, Chuck. Say hi to Sandy for me. Remember Chuck and Sandy from... Yes, I do. How are they doing? Uh, they, they, he didn't say how they're doing. They're just, right. they, well, hope they're doing well. so hope you're hope you're doing well. And uh, who's the who's the gentleman we met in um, Denver? He came and saw us. There. Uh, Bob, wasn't it? Was it Bob? I think so. Okay, Bob. Terrible. We should know that. I know. Well, it's been you know a couple of years now. Terrible name. Oh, Bob Nelson. Bob Nelson. Was it Bob Nelson that whole okay. time? Maybe it was. Anyway, well, that's about all I have for you today, folks, from Durango, anyway.
next stop Silverton, that's some twisty roads. I'll make uh, some video probably as we go along. And I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll post all this stuff later on because I'm not processing videos. I'm having trouble posting mine. I don't even know what I filmed. Yeah, yeah, we don't even know what we filmed. Crap, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. So. We're having a great time. What's your furthest destination point? I don't know how far we. I think we, the farthest we went is Sedona, and ever since Sedona, we've been making our way back. Well, we went here. Well, I mean, we went, you know, oh, yeah, we went like down to the Grand Canyon and down to. We did our best not to. Uh, not to that, that town that has the Mike and Rondas? Flagstaff. Flagstaff. And down to Silver uh, uh, Sedona. And then up again. So. I think we saw these folks at the Four Corners. Yeah. Very interesting. Anyway, I think that was our farthest point. Now we're heading north and east to get back on the road home. We're already kind of 550 is a nice ride to Silverton and Uray 550. All right, thank you, Paul. I will look into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells good out here. But we had uh, great Mexican food in Cortez. Yeah. That was, that was, that was good. nice. Yep. And uh, we're not going to eat again until we, you know, settle for the evening. I'm full. Yeah, I'm full. Wow. All right, folks. Thank you again. Thank you, Paul. Hi, Chuck. Say hi to Sandy. We'll talk to y'all later.